The Minnesota Timberwolves shocked the defending champions 20 years after their last Game 7 win with KG, shockingly, on May 19th. And today, we're going to be talking about the Wolves and doing some uh, history and quizzes, George. Are you ready for one real stat, one fake stat? Then you take a guess at which one it is. Yeah, I'm absolutely ready. Let's do this. Okay. Anthony Edwards is the only player with consecutive 40-point playoff games at 22 years old or younger. Mm -hmm. Stat number two. Sunday was the first day in NBA history where both road teams won a game set with two or more road teams winning a game set. Uh, these, are, these are good questions. Um questions. I'm going to go with the second one, Sammy, is the real stat. It was the first time ever two road teams won game seven on the same day. It is the first day in NBA history where two road teams won a game seven. Oh, Anthony it. Edwards is the <laughs> second best, or second player to ever score consecutive 40-point games at age 22 or younger. The other person was Kobe Bryant in 2001. Very interesting. And um, Kobe Bryant in 2001 won the NBA championship, and Anthony Edwards will be attempting to do the same in 2024. And he had his slightly older veteran big man with him as well. Yep. And, and, and let's not forget, um, we all say this never happens in NBA history, but no, it does. If you have a big man, like you said, and you're really good. Dwayne Wade, for example, with the Miami Heat. And he had Shaq also. Yeah. Uh, it's always, always a, Shaq's in a lot of those examples. But it yeah. is crazy, George. It was 20 And Magic years Johnson, to the day. I'm sorry, I have to say. And Magic Johnson of Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yeah, but Magic Johnson's not a shooting guard. True. No, I'm just saying as a young guard. I know. But like yeah. the other examples were all shooting guards. So, you know what I mean? Magic Johnson's like a, a big man point guard. Yeah. Uh, May 19th, 2004 was the first Timberwolves game seven in history. And May 19th, 2024 was the second Timberwolves game <laughs> in history. It's pretty wow. crazy. It was 20 years to the day yesterday. Um, well, speaking of NBA playoffs, we're coming into an interesting time, George. We're done with the everyday NBA games. Right. Um, it's, it's just a uh, – we're now to the conference finals. It is weird to feel. So I have a quiz. I want to tell you. I'm going to give you one hint to start the quiz. Okay. Okay. The one hint to start the quiz is only two out of these 10 players are still in the NBA playoffs. Mm -hmm. Two out of the 10. So I thought it'd be interesting, considering we're talking about all these new young stars and where the NBA is headed. I went to the final updated on April 19th, the final updated top selling jerseys in the NBA for the season. That's when they, okay. find, they updated for the last time. And as I said, only two of the players remaining in the playoffs are in the top 10. So George, can you guess? The top 10 NBA selling jerseys of this season. Yeah, I can easily do that, I think. I think I can easily do this one. Let's start off with LeBron James. He is at number two. Steph Curry. He's at number one. Jason Tatum. He's number three. Luka Doncic. He is number six. All right, so two of the 10 are, there we are. Um, bum, 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 bum. Trey Young. He is not even in the top 15. Okay, I thought maybe people would like Trey Young for some reason. Man, all right, now the pickings are getting slim. Uh, Anthony Davis. He is not in the top 15 either. I have all 15, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm doing top okay. 10. I'm just telling you if he's in the 15 or not. All right. Um, give me one more minute. If not, you got to give me them. Um, let's see. I... <laughs> Shea Gilders Alex. No, yeah, he's out of the playoffs now. Shea. No. All right. Uh, Joel Embiid. He's number 12. Okay. Well, we just went to top 10 for the quiz, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, 12. Wow. Damn. Uh, Jalen Brunson, of course. He's number 15. Wow. You just said this would be easy, and you got four. <laughs> Four, yeah. I feel like the the top five are easy, but yeah. All right, man. You got like, you got top three. I mean, top five was not easy for you. Number four was Victor Wembanyama. Oh wow! Number, Already Spurs jersey. Number, 
Uh, not surprising at all. He's a seven foot five. I, I mean, a rookie. He's a, like the biggest rookie sensation since LeBron. Yeah. So like, I mean, it makes sense people buy his jersey. Giannis is at number five. All right. Uh, Booker was at seven. Durant was at eight. Lillard was at nine. And Tyrese right. Maxey was at number ten. All right. That, I, that, that's a uh, interesting list. I'm surprised Maxey sells more jerseys than NBA. That's well, probably because he's, like, now gotten popular. Correct. I mean, I was going to say, the, the reality is these players probably get popular. Like, Damian Lillard, George, first year on the Bucks, selling a lot of jerseys, right? Durant, uh, like, first full season with the Suns, and his running mate in, in Devin Booker, they're both up there. So I feel like, you know, Maxi, like, the running mate to Embiid, people started to notice him this year. I feel like that's probably Yeah, that happens. makes sense. That totally makes sense. Four All right, that was your, your worst performance that, so far. That was really bad. That okay. was really bad. Well, George, NBA playoffs, Anthony Edwards, Minnesota Timberwolves. What's your opinion today? Pretty simple. I mean, kind of goes right into that jersey thing, <laughs> right? Anthony Edwards is going to be the most popular player in the NBA for the next 10 years. He might not be the best, but he's going to be the most popular. He's going to sell the most jerseys. He's going to sell the most shoes. Anthony Edwards is going to take over the NBA. The NBA's next star fell into their lap. You had Jordan to Kobe to LeBron to Anthony Edwards. Just fall right into their lap. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's been a pretty seamless transition at this point, right? I mean, like, the, he walks into these, like, his third year in the NBA now, whatever it is, and we're talking about a guy that's, you know, not shy to be telling an old grandpa to take your ass home on the, on the that was amazing. And, yeah. And, and, you know, uh, just being that guy that's wearing a sideways hat with a wife beater at a press conference, like just being his authentic self cracking jokes, not really taking things that seriously while also being a fearless, like serious competitor. I, I think that's what makes mm -hmm. him the best part of all this is, on the court, he's like LeBron. I mean, not LeBron, like Jordan, Kobe, like killer mentality. Like I'm, I'm gonna chop your head off. But off the court, he becomes like a walking, like, like funny clips. Right. Yeah. He's been. I mean, he's a kind of a viral sensation online, and I mean, I don't know. He just seems authentic too, and I think that's one of the things. Like, I know. Look, LeBron James never felt authentic, right? Like off the court i know he's a good dude but he never looked like he was authentic uh kobe bryant everyone says is kind of like now you know after he passed away but a lot of people thought he was fake the, like the grimace on the court um but anthony edwards feels real like he literally does feel real and i think that's something that is attracting people to him yeah i mean i don't really like those other examples but because i i don't know if they're genuine or not, like if they're actually fake or not, like off the court. I just know that Anthony Edwards specifically mm -hmm. completely lets his guard down off the court. And that is something that I, you don't see from anybody. Right. So at mm -hmm. some point we could call everyone unauthentic because every, there's a lot of guys in the NBA, I would say 90% that go up to the podium and just want to answer the questions, get the fuck right. out or like, yeah, give you hundred percent. So I wouldn't call 90% of the NBA unauthentic, but I would say that Anthony Edwards specifically is just like, there's no limit to his like guard, right? He's like, all right, I'm just going to like say whatever the hell I want. I'm going to cuss at the podium. I'm going to make jokes at cat. I'm going to be walking on the, the, the tunnel making jokes. Like he is fully embraced. Like I can just be myself. Which is yeah, and something I, and we it's have not seen. Amazing. It's amazing. It really is. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable. And it's also good that he is I think there's some good aspect of being in Minnesota. I know it's a I think it proves the concept of the small market thing not mattering that much. Yeah, if you're not anymore great at, at least. basketball. What? And not anymore, at least. Maybe back in the '90s, it mattered a little more, but yeah, maybe mean, not there was so much no, anymore. Like cable or like YouTube TV back right. in the day, but now there's 40 national games a year for a team if they're good, and you can buy NBA League Pass and watch every single game. I mean, at the end of the day, I, wa I watch more Wolves games than the Chicago Bulls. If the Sh like, right. yeah, the Chicago Bulls are a huge brand, but when they don't or the like Brooklyn the Jordan, Nets, yeah, I mean, the the thing is, I'm saying. The same example, but I'm saying the point is yeah. when you don't have a star and you're not Michael Jordan, okay, the Bulls are a big brand, but like I don't give a shit about the Bulls anymore. Like I don't exactly. really, I don't ever think, well, I gotta catch that Bulls game because <laughs> it's the 
the classic Chicago Bulls. No, if they suck, they suck. When the Lakers were bad four or five years ago, when they were first like starting their rebuild, we didn't want to tune in the Lakers games, right? Because no, no one tuned in. Yeah, exactly. No, hundred, like hundred percent. Like and Anthony Edwards, as long as Minnesota, like he doesn't have to go chase to be a Laker or a Nick or a Bull, as long as they, you know, provide him with the right tools to continue winning. Yeah, which they will. I think it'd be very big if. A Rod ends up they finalize moving the sale to whatever I, the dispute they're going through, but they need, I think, that fresh, cool new ownership with a guy like Anthony Edwards, and it kind of changes the perception, right? Like we're talking about small market, but not anymore. Like you have A Rod as an owner, and you have Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns, and like then it proves the fact that it doesn't matter where you are. Yep, yeah, it doesn't matter. And uh, Charles Barkley is going to take his ass to Minnesota for the first time in twenty years. I know. I love that. He's like, Bring your ass. <laughs> that's why this is why he's great like no that's not what you would expect from most stars oh i've been in minnesota in 23 years and just bring your ass like yeah, i love nowhere like yeah he he's he's just that guy so star of the, he is going to be the face of the nba and i i can't wait to see what this this team does i will tell you this george before we head out is i love luca and i love anthony edwards and this is like my dream Western Conference Finals. Like, I don't think we could have it much better than this right now. No, you, you really can. My three of my, my four favorite players in the league, you know, Steph, Luka, Anthony Edwards, and Jokic. And now we get, like, I got to see Edwards versus Jokic and now Luka versus Edwards. So it's, it's fun. And Steph out of the playoffs, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Shockingly for a year. I've seen him in the playoffs uh, a lot. So I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not good, but you know what I mean? I've seen him. <laughs> I, was just, I was saying shockingly. Um, anyways. This is the Hoops on Tap podcast, all part of the Sports on Tap network. If you want to see all our stuff, the Sports on Tap on YouTube does our NFL stuff. All those links are in the bio, um, in the description, whatever you want to call it. Same on the podcast. So you can find everything in the links in the descriptions and uh, support us, like and subscribe. And uh, we appreciate any of the love and support. And uh, as always, I'm little brother Sammy. With me is my big brother, George. And you know what we like to say. Thanks for stopping by.